Hey everyone, I'm Carmelo and this is uh, Fingers of Fury. So I'm gonna be shooting from the hip on this one. I've got a workout I gotta do, and it just so happens that it's gonna involve the fifth element. And I've got an overview video of this, and this is a prototype, by the way, it's, or it's my prototype. Um, so this is what I work out with, but it's a little bit different looking just um, in appearance, but functionally it's the same. All the things are in the same spots as far as um, holding on to it, but anyways, so I have a workout that I'm gonna do that involves this. So I think that that's gonna give it a little bit of context of why you would wanna use this in the first place. So this is something I made for a personal um, want uh, or need of mine. So uh, I'll go over that. So the workout today, it involves deadlifts. And I do what I believe is an integrated strength, at least um, inspired workout. Uh, so uh, climb strong, uh, Steve Bechtel wrote a book, Integrated Strength. I read it years ago, so I don't want to say I'm basing this exactly off of this uh, or exactly off of the book, but it's at least inspired by that book. So it's going to be deadlifts, and then it's going to be uh, training the pinch and then stretching. I'm probably going to do three to five sets uh, total, depending on how I feel. And the way I work out usually is before I hop on the wall, so that way I've got a uh, uh, 45 degree spray wall so being warmed up before I hop on the wall is uh, the best thing for me uh, in my situation so that's what it is uh, so to give you context on um, you know where I'm at physically as far as doing the workout I haven't been able to do deadlifts in a long time um, I might have mentioned before I've got a young daughter and that was rough for the first year and I of course decided to uh, start another side business uh, while that was going on so that um, might have added insult to injury, but I'm starting to feel strong and deadlifts are starting to feel like uh, something that might be appropriate. I kind of just want to see where I'm at on them. And then obviously deadlifts are hand intensive to begin with. And we do use our thumb a, a little bit, but uh, I don't really feel it a lot in my thumb. So where the fifth element comes in is this pairs perfectly with the deadlift where I'm not going to want to especially if I'm doing uh, floor pulls, like I don't want to be picking up a large amount of weight with my fingers when I literally just picked up a large amount of weight with my fingers. So you would either not figure train at all, um, separate it out further, but you know, you certainly probably would want to step away from the deadlift and immediately start doing your, um, your finger lifts. So you might want to hang board or something with body weight or just do something much more light duty. But with the fifth element, which I describe in my overview, is I've got these slots in here that you can slip a carabiner through. So this, um, using these two slots here, uh, biases the thumb a lot more. So where I usually lift probably like 50 pounds on a traditional pinch block, we're gonna find out today, but it might be something like 10 pounds. So I'm lifting nearly nothing off of the floor to get a much heavier workout on my thumb. And not only that, the thumb usually gets um, not as much love as the other fingers. And when you use a traditional pinch block, you're still using your fingers a lot. So again, you wouldn't want to deadlift and then go straight to a pinch. So that's some context. Again, uh, this is a workout that I've got to do. So uh, I'm gonna start setting up the bar and everything to actually do the workout and I'll stop uh, back in from time to time and kind of explain what I'm doing or how I felt. Um, so again, shooting from the hip here and I'm just taking you guys along for the ride. All right, so I got it set up. I got um, 135 on the bar to warm up, kind of see how I feel. And then I put 10 pounds on the uh, loading pin. Uh, there's a lot of bugs in here. So 10 pounds on the loading pin over there. It's kind of on a weird spot at the end of the mat but that's how it fits in frame. So um, I'm probably just gonna stretch off camera, um, but I'm gonna do some lifting. Now, I'm wearing these, which if you watch any of the vlog videos, um, these are earring protection, but there are um, these are Bluetooth, and so I'm listening to music. I'm not a crazy person um, trying to make it even quieter in here. And also, I apologize if you can hear, um, I don't think I've ever explained this, but, uh, <laughs> like seven feet away is what I call um, my machine my machine shop and not in quotations but it's a somewhat separate garage but I actually work out while I'm running the machine so that's how I do things I uh, you know I've got limited amount of time so when I'm working out I'm, I'm running over to the machine shop and I'm swapping pieces over and uh, you may or may not be able to hear some rumbles of the machine um, 
machining some parts. So if you do, I'm sorry about that, but uh, gotta run the machine. So I think I was in frame for all of that. As, uh, you might have seen me try to look at the screen to see if I was. Um, so that 10 pounds was really heavy for the pinch on my left not so pad on the right, but it is feeling quite heavy um, for the left. So I'm going to swap the weights up a stretch and then load up some more weight on the deadlift bar and continue. All right, so I got 220 on the, or 225 on the bar now. Um, it's still 10 pounds on the pinch and I realized uh, I just did like one super quick uh, set on um, the pinch. So try again. I've got uh, just swapped the machine out too and I uh, got some chalk, so good to go. Okay, so I don't know how it looks on camera, but so 225 feels fine. I feel very out of shape, so I think I might keep it at 225 for a while. Um, in the past, uh, I'd probably be around, I might even still be able to do it, but I can usually do 400 pretty easily, um, and my max is just a bit higher than that, 455. I might have done like 500 back in high school. Um, but uh, 225 for sets of five is gonna be fine for tonight, I think. So then for the pinch, um, 10 still feels really heavy. Uh, it felt okay um, for the um, uh, first pull on my right, but then left is still heavy and then my thumb tires out really quickly on the right anyway. So I'm gonna stay at 10 there. Uh, at the end, I might grab a regular pinch block and just show what the difference in uh, weight is for going from this pinch to a regular pinch block because it should be a pretty big difference. So uh, I'm gonna stretch off video and come back for the next set. So I just did another set. I think I forgot to hit record because the screen just shut off so I'm assuming I didn't capture that. Um, so 225 is feeling even better after the uh, second set of it. The 10 pounds on the pinch feeling better, still challenging so I'm really excited to see what I do. I think what I'll do is a test on the tension block and then a uh, regular pinch of the same size. So I'm psyched on that. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do a quick stretch and be right back. So I put uh, 315 on the bar, so another 90 pounds or 245s. Uh, still 10 on the fifth element. I think this is going to be my second to last set, so I'm just gonna see where I'm at on 315. Either it's a total ego lift currently or uh, it'll feel fine. So uh, I'm trying to wrap this up. I gotta do uh, package some orders and uh, I'm hoping to get to sleep soon. So I'm just gonna get this done. So that was 315 and I felt not, not perfect. So I only got four reps. Uh, you saw that and I feel like my uh, technique wasn't uh, too good. So I just kept it at four. And also I'll mention, I'm kind of doing this like it's a circuit. It doesn't need to be that way. You can catch your breath in between sets. I feel rushed because I'm on video. So 
what I'm going to do is do the other pinches, see where I'm at on those, and just talk about it after. Okay, so I've just repositioned the camera a little bit. I'll have to reposition it back down to the loading pin, but I suspect that in order of weight I'm, about, I'm able to do, it's going to be this is the least. Tension block will be the second, and then a regular pinch will be the most I'll be able to lift. So just to compare these, um, the pinch that I'm going to use on the tension block is narrower than the one on the fifth element. If I line them up, which is difficult to do, because on the tension block, I added these other knots. So I'm using the 20 millimeter edge. I'm able to clip in here, and now it's annoying to, if I have to clip in the bottom here, this is sticking up. This is one of the reasons I don't like this design. I don't like any of these like um, paracord, um, like flip type designs. But anyways, uh, I'm not gonna measure it, but if I try and match it up, um, the fifth element is a little bit um, bigger than this. But then if I go from here to the outside, this uh, tension block's like an inch bigger. So I'll just point that out and uh, let's see how I do. Yeah, nothing. So this is two more 20s. Not too bad, so that's 30. Maybe I can do another 10. All right, so 30 definitely goes, what did I say, 40? Yeah, so 40 doesn't go. Um, I'm not gonna bother testing to find out where between 30 and 40 I can lift, I don't care. Um, so, I also didn't max out the fifth element to be fair, um, but I don't think it would be much higher than the 10. It, it certainly would be 30. The 30 probably felt uh, around as difficult as doing the 10 on the fifth element, not maxing it out. So I'm gonna keep it there. I'm gonna to move to a regular pinch to see how I do there. Uh, all right, so, and just fair is fair to compare the fifth element to the pinch and the pinch, or what I'm calling the pinch or the traditional pinch is two two by fours with an eyelet. Um, and these are almost the same. We're talking maybe a quarter inch difference. So very little difference. Um, I'm gonna go try it out. not much. So what I did there is um, I lifted it with my whole hand, which uh, if you want to be a little bit more honest with yourself, you can still grab a regular pinch block like you would grab the fifth element or the tension block where you're just able to use your fingertips. So that's what I did there. 40 goes up, no problem. And then um, 40 did not go up when I was just using my fingertips. And so the only thing I have to say about that is, yeah, you can train it like that, um, which I, I feel like is, is better, but I, I like the device to force the person to kind of be honest with themselves. Cause then you might not use your whole hand, but you might use a little bit more than maybe uh, you would if you're being completely honest with yourself. So again, I, I like that the tension block does that and obviously the fifth element does it as well. So I'm gonna try and see how much I can do just loading the pinch block up because with that said, I feel like a lot of people just load up a pinch block like that and just to see how much they can lift um, and think that they're training up pinch that's more specific to climbing. So uh, let's see what I can do there. Close. 
All right, so to recap, uh, I showed, or I talked about my workout, and I talked about why I wanted to use the fifth element, which was I was doing deadlifts, and I don't want to be lifting a lot with um, my legs and my back over and over again on two different lifts that I'm doing um, consecutively one after another. So the fifth element is really good for that, and it's also really good for focusing on the thumb. So again, I'm lifting, uh, 10 pounds only, but of the three devices, uh, I'm feeling uh, my thumb the most on the fifth element with the least amount of weight. So I'm saving my fingers as best as I can on a workout that I'm doing deadlifts on. So I can still climb after this workout. And again, I did this workout a little bit rushed because I was on camera and I'm actually, after this video, it, or after I'm done shooting this, I'm just gonna call it, I'm not gonna do my last set. On video, but I'm, I'm rushing it a little bit, but that kind of hammers my point home even more, which is I'm able to go straight from when I was doing 315 and that was gassing me out to being able to lift 10 pounds, which for the rest of my body is fine, but for my thumb was quite challenging. So um, that's one example of why you'd use the fifth element. And again, it's something that I made to not only complement workouts um, like I'm doing right now, but also I feel like the thumb is something I've neglected for a long time. So even if you were doing a normal finger workout, um, be it hang boarding, uh, you're doing floor pulls, or whatever the methodology is, you can still work the fifth element in because of that focus to the thumb. So you're not having to squeeze with your fingers as much as you would on the other two pinch blocks. So that additional 20 to 30 pounds, or I guess it was, uh, well, 20 to 40 pounds almost, are coming from the additional use of my fingers, which had I already done a finger workout or I was going to combine it with a finger workout, I don't really want that additional load on my fingers. I wanna kinda of keep them alone. They're getting enough work as it is. So that this is something that I wish existed years ago. I don't do a ton of pinching, but when I do, I, I need to really use that thumb a lot. And I just, I, I wish that I had been doing it over the years. So that's the main reason is by isolating the thumb, not only am I uh, giving it a better workout, but I'm able to add this into my workouts more often and do it for years to come. You know, once a week, now I can integrate the fifth element into my training. So that's what I'm really excited for is just the fact that it's going to be easier to work into the workouts I'm already doing. Whereas normally, if I was doing deadlifts, I kind of just uh, throw the finger training uh, out. Uh, I, I might do hangboarding here, and I've got my Fiero edges here, but the way I've got them set up is right over a door, and if I'm heating this space, or I'm running the machine shop on the other side, I keep that door closed, so basically my nose is against the door from hanging off of it, so that's, I, I need to build something, but anyways, uh, that's the fifth element. Uh, if you have any other questions, uh, let me know. I'm going to try and do more videos like this and hopefully I get better at talking on camera, less of the uh and mm's. But anyways, uh, thank you for watching if you watched and again if you have any questions let me know.